measure two or three times and cut once is a good idea and I'm glad I did because I'm sort of in a quandary now this is the diagram the window man gave me 1150 tall and 1255 wide that's his measurements except I just measured the window itself the actual window which was delivered while we were in Ireland it's on our front balcony our front porch I measured it and it's 1600 wide not 1200 so now everything I've prepared here is all out of whack so now I'm thinking well first of all I think I'll, I'll go the window over to, over to that red post but that red post there has to move that way by a significant margin uh, I had already set out the window so that it was biased in that direction so now if I move it just a few a few inches that way and do the excess that way 400 mils that way it'll almost be centered in the wall so that's not a drama one drama is that the lintel is only 1800 wide so if I go 1650 if I go 1650 gap that lentil's only hanging on by 75 mils or something on each end but that has to go that way and obviously it's too short now because I've cut it the uh, the big beam is not level because the floor above it is not level the beam is following the floor which means that stick is now too short if I move it that way but I do have more of that red stuff so I can cut it to size I've been to Bunnings I got a longer lentil uh, I also spoke to the window installer man he says that he ordered a 1200 wide window and the factory has sent a 1600 so rather than wait another six weeks to get another window made at the right length we've decided to go ahead and put the 16 in um, which is good I would have liked the bigger window to start with anyway but everyone else said match that one over there which is 12 so I accidentally get my way but I mean so I got some work to do here including fitting a longer lentil in so here we go getting this lentil out could be hard it's kind of wedged in behind this big boy at the moment and if that's hard to get out then you one might be just as hard to get in If it was that tricky to get the short one out I'm not going to get the long one in without moving that big guy
okay I got the prop under it I put a screw through the prop so it can't slip off and that's just wedging it out from the wall for now so I'll try that see if that see if I've got enough room with that I somehow doubt it though but I'll give it a shot The old one was 1800, this one is 2400. Close. really need to cut the outside line soon especially the one across the top because I'm not sure if I mentioned this but there's a real good chance that the whole wall could fall down but cutting that straight line across the top uh, might give it a, um, a better chance of surviving but 
I do actually know that there's a uh, good chance of it falling out altogether and I'll deal with that if I have to but I'd rather not there is a concrete lintel in there I'm going to be careful trying to take that out because if that lets go and uh, is hinged at one end or something for example it could tear out a whole big lump that I don't want missing other than that I mean it's going pretty good but I do need to cut it soon I don't want to cut it when it's so windy because there's neighbors with washing on the line and I don't want to upset them so I'll wait for some calm later in the evening to do some more cutting um, I guess I could get on with some of my wooden framing that needs redoing now I did some framing off camera yesterday uh, it's looking pretty good that's the bottom cord I think you might call it and the top and I put in another red stick there which are joined in the middle because they're two short pieces so it's an overlapping joint from there to there with heavy screws from both sides and a lot of glue the wind is gusty but I've got to go for it now I can't wait anymore I've got to cut it on the outside and probably just a quick nick on it just to get the line straight I think I got away with that the dust wasn't too well the dust was bad but I think it fell mostly there and blew mostly that way with only a little bit gone to the neighbor there so I do have one little concern left is this guy here uh, because the concrete that's above him goes a bit further and so when this comes out if that stays hinged it could take out a lump of wall there so I might have to do some careful chiseling on that one otherwise I think I'm good to go for the rest of it So I've got nice straight lines for the most part. Happy with that. I'm particularly happy with the top there. I did want a little bit of an overhang there. So I got that. I'm happy. Uh, took out a big chunk here that's uh, not ideal, but it could have been way worse. When, when the big lump fell out it smashed that timber so I'll replace that that's easy all in all I'm happy with that and it makes an amazing difference to the room having a big window that size there 
So with that out of the way, I will just do some patching up and cleaning up and finish my framing. Look at that view. That'll change dramatically in the next few minutes. Daryl's here to put in the new window. And it's going to look spectacular, I reckon. That is a nice big opening. Daryl was impressed with my window opening. He said I did it beautifully. The only thing is, uh, there is a dimension here that I didn't consider, but it's not my fault. I'll show you what I mean. Daryl measured it when he came in. That gap there, from there to there, is 218 mils. On this side, it's 226. Up here, 247. Up here, 226. But I have checked all my timbers and they're all plumb and square. So it's actually the wall that's out. And I'm not making excuses, the wall is out. So that stick there is perfectly plumb, but look at the gap difference between the top and the bottom. So not only is the wall out wrong, but it's actually leaning out at the top. And that can't be good, eh? No more gut corking gun in a wet rag. Yeah, mate. Whoa. Wowzers. How cool is that, dogs? Wow. That is bloody brilliant. Anyone would be handy, happy with that view.